improvement. The other one is this system over here. Um, it was to make uh, transgenic mice, which are the ones that are used in kind of any drug study that they're doing. So they need to genetically modify a mouse. So they have a strain or DNA that they know has this, yeah, and they need to inject it into the current embryo to make the, the new mice with this genetic defect. You have to get a statistical set of um, subjects that are accurate. When people talk about statistics in medicine, there isn't any. Right? There's only two, um, there's only been two correct statistical studies done in uh, medicine. One was by two people called Dahl and Pito, and they were the people that did the, um, characterized the relationship between smoking and throat cancer and cancers generally. And they studied that for 20 years over that period of time to get the data that was accurate. They got a Nobel Prize for it. The other people who did uh, a proper statistical study in medicine were people who did glaucoma in India because people in India seem to suffer from this disease quite significantly. So they got the data set. What we're trying to do, what Megan's saying is that, yeah, um, if we were working with somebody, at any given time there was between 10 and 15,000 mice in the facility. So they were trying to put the defect into the mouse so because a mouse like humans, we pass on that defect to our children. So there was a huge statistical set that they could work with. Mm. Yeah. And the, the system, or the way that they were doing it was really awkward for the operator. They'd have a significant a training period and even a person with 20 years experience could still only get between 40 and 70 percent yield on any given day of injection. And so. Part of the reason why it was so difficult is you were looking here, but manipulating stuff out here. You see the, you see the little microscope there they look through, and the, the manipulators are here. So they were looking through there and manipulating these handles. And you have, there's a very specific spot in the cell where you should inject, and if you don't inject there, you could damage the DNA, and, and so there's game over. Waste right? game over, wasted, right? And so um, they, the person who originally worked on that created a, a vision set, uh, system that could identify the best spot to inject. And he also made it joystick controlled. So you're looking at a computer interface now and moving a joystick that controls those manipulators. And so the uh, operator who had 20 years experience went up to like a 90% success rate. And they got a, uh, the person who ran the lab, his high school son came in and he, after like two days of training, got like 80% success rate. Did very well. Because he played video games. Right. So I mean, that's what you're turning this into. Um, and so um, now they're hoping to move towards a more fully automated system. Because um, the, what was it, like one mouse is like $15,000 no, no, or something? I mean, it depends on the disease. A mouse can be $65,000. Wow. It's like a, <laughs> for one a mouse. mouse that has perhaps a heart defect. That mouse could be sixty-five thousand dollars upwards because it's going to pass it on to to the, the remainder of the set. And, that, and that's we're in the wrong game. We should be in the game of <laughs> generating mice. <laughs> <laughs>